Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pirate here, and in today's Fun Scroll Saw Project video, I have another amazing design by Steve Good, and it is a train theme project. Now, recently on Steve's blog post, I believe it was around the end of last year, he announced that he was getting back into the model train hobby. You guys know that I am as well. So, really, really cool, and I think this project just celebrates him getting into the hobby. I've got all the patterns printed out and attached to our material with clear packing tape, and all the material in this project is going to be one quarter inch material. And unfortunately, I'm running low on my quarter inch plywood supply, so I've got to go get another sheet of it and get it broke down to work out here in the workshop. So, I won't be stack cutting this and making two of it. We'll be making the one individual piece in this video. But all the patterns are ready and prepped. And here is the train wheels. Now we will stack cut those to get all those out in one shot. The words all aboard down here which will go at the bottom. The iconic phrase for locomotives and everything. There are some accent pieces that go onto the engine here. And there is the locomotive itself and the backer board. Again, everything will be one quarter inch material. The model railroad hobby is so relaxing. And I'll show you my display a little later on in case you're new here. But really, really cool. I'm ready to get this project on the right track. So let's head over to the drill press, drill all the pilot holes we need so we can come back to the scroll saw and start scrolling. And over here on the drill press, we are taking a small drill bit and drilling out all of the pilot holes for internal cutting. And then we will head over to the scroll saw and begin scrolling. If you've seen there, I played with the speed dial on the scroll saw. And I slowed it down for cutting out the single layers of quarter inch material here. I am using number 5 ultra reverse scroll saw blades and they are sharp and will fly through the single layers of quarter inch material which is why I slowed the scroll saw down. I will speed it back up for cutting out the stacked part of the wheels and normally when I'm stack cutting I have the speed on this scroll saw between a 6 and 7 and if I'm doing the single layers of the quarter inch material like we were doing here, I may slow it down to between a three and four just to have better control. If you guys would like to try this pattern, it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good's scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com website over in his free pattern catalog. I am really happy that Steve Good is now in the model train hobby as well as the many others that are in the hobby it's very relaxing to sit there and watch the trains run and I know the train stuff was kinda out of left field you guys know that I collected Hot Wheels but I've always been fascinated with trains the Amtrak goes through the neighborhood here where I'm at daily and trains essentially help build the country and they are awesome and powerful machines and I just get transported back to my childhood when I see a train. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. Coming along, cutting out that iconic railroad phrase, all aboard and cutting out some of the smaller pieces and just setting them aside and this is why I like having an L-shaped workbench I can easily set parts like this if it's a multi-part project over to the side without having to keep getting up and getting down my water and my iPod is also off to the side and this accent piece here that I'm cutting out was the hardest part and most tedious part for me to cut out because of all the right angle turns but I just took my time and let the blade do the work as always cutting out the final part here which is the actual steam engine with the engineer in the cab of the locomotive and I am a fan of the older steam locomotives like depicted here I just love to see them run and hear the sounds but now that all the scroll work is done we will remove all the scroll work from the waste material and proceed to sanding and I will sand with 100 grit sandpaper and the palm sander 
and because of the sharpness of the scroll saw blade, this is all the sanding that is required for this project for me. And then it will be time to start staining and painting parts. I stained some of the pieces here with Minwax wood stain. What I thought would look good stained and then I set those pieces aside and I spray painted the backer board a nice blue color and I set all these parts aside to dry and while everything was drying I had a little bit of fun in the train room and this is just my humble little layout it's small now but I hope to proceed to a permanent 4x8 or even bigger layout hopefully later this year but after everything was dry we began assembling everything with medium grade CA glue and I have a picture of the full project saved on my phone I always do this with multi-part projects and I'm using the accelerator to help along the way making sure to line everything up and position it correctly and this is a personal for me project for the train room but after everything was glued up I let it dry around five minutes and then we gave it several coats of Rust-Oleum clear gloss and the project was complete and here we have the completed all aboard train cut out completely on the scroll saw with some beautiful details and features in it thank you Steve Good for another fantastic pattern from your pattern catalog and I hope you enjoy the model railroad and hobby as much as I have I've made some great friends since getting back into it but really really cool it took me around 30 minutes to scroll everything out here and I just took my time as always and let the blade do the work now you did see in the video I slowed my scroll saw down to a slower speed for cutting out these single layers of one quarter inch material and the hardest part for me for myself to cut out was the sharp right angle corners and this accent piece here it's just a ton of 90 degree right angle turns and I just approached them slowly and let the blade do the work as i had done the turn but everything came out great I love the tiered look and layered 3d look of the piece and when Steve uploaded this pattern the image he had the piece had a burgundy or reddish background I chose a blue one to go with the theming and decor in the train room because that's where that is is going to hang proudly once I get a hanger on it after it dries completely but really really cool I had a lot of fun making it and I hope you guys like watching me make it all aboard if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. Links to all my social medias as well as ways to contact me will always be linked down in the description box below these videos. That's about all for this one and remember guys if I can make it or do it so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon.